What's up guys, John Rettinger here, and I want to give you a demonstration of the Palm Pre's app catalog. This is akin to the iPhone's App Store or Blackberry's App World. So let's get started. Go to Launcher, and there it is right there, App Catalog. You can also see how long it takes for an application to open on the Pre as well. So here we are in the App Catalog. You can see very clearly letting you know that this is still in beta. And it's broken up by featured and popular. Although there are not that many apps in here, so the featured and the most popular are really just the same applications mostly. You can sort by most recent, top rated, lifestyle, entertainment, news, utilities, social networking, food, communications, productivity, games, movies, and tag cloud, which is really just viewing all applications. So there really aren't that many in here right now. There are less than 20. And these are all actually web apps. So certainly you need to be connected to the internet either via EVDO or Wi-Fi to really use almost any of these applications. So let me go ahead and show you. And actually, since they are web apps, you really can't tell. They seem very close to native applications. So let's go ahead and download one, and I'll show you how that works. So here's the game Connect 4. I used to love that when I was a kid, so let's give that a download. So it opens up. You can rate it by stars. It gives you some brief download about it. You can click try it or you can go ahead and download it right away. So let's go ahead and download. And I'm connected via Wi-Fi right now so you can see how quick that is. It is actually a very very quick download. And as it's downloading there's an X to the right of that progress bar letting you know that you can cancel it as you go. It's loading the application. And that's it. It is loaded. You can tap to launch but let me show you where they show up. Go ahead and throw that away. And they show up really right on that first launcher screen. So here we have Connect 4. Let's see what it looks like. Connect 4 by Hasbro. You can try out multiplayer features, and they really they look just like native applications that you find on the iPhone or the Blackberry. It actually is really impressive what Palm did here. So one really cool app that I downloaded that I want to show you guys, something called Classic. You may have had an old Palm device, maybe a Trio 600, a Trio 6 V50, maybe even one of the older Palm Pilots. But what you're going to see here is going to look very familiar to you. It actually emulates the old Palm OS. Maybe you had a Centro that you upgraded to the Pre 2. Regardless, this is, should look very familiar to you. And it is a full functioning Palm Classic operating system. You can install applications on here, it'll grow really as big as you want it to, limited only by the internal memory on the Pre. Install applications when you plug your Pre into your computer, you set it up as an external hard drive, and you just drag applications right in, and they'll install automatically. If you have a license with an older Palm Classic device, that won't be a problem. You can actually transfer the licenses right into this application. It's very cool, and it works just as well. So here's the calculator. Go back home. You got tasks. And by the way, just seeing this old classic operating system really can let you appreciate how far the Pre has come from what was Palm's really only OS up until yesterday. And that's it, you've got a virtual D-pad. You can control and move along. You can have your contacts in here. Certainly you can't make calls from this, but it is just a emulation program. So we'll close out of that. And let's go back to the app catalog. And here we are back in the app catalog. I'm going to run through and show you everything that's available right now. There aren't that, there aren't that many. And also as I'm through here, you can see some notifications popping up. I just had an email that came through. So check out the tag cloud. You can see sort of all the different tags that they have which is very similar to what you would find on most web pages or a WordPress page. This is kind of the, one of the ways that you can see that this really is a web operating system. There's the app catalog. And to go back, you just use the gestures and swipe back. So let's take a look at the most recent application. You can see sort of what's in here. And I'll just scroll through them quickly and you can take a look and read them yourself. But there's some AccuWeather, there's some Twitter applications, 
there's Fandango, there's New York, there's some games in here, the Associated Press, there's a couple Twitter clients, and of course there's the classic application, which by the way is free for seven days, then you have to buy it. And of course, what app catalog or app store would be complete without a Sudoku game? That is almost a requirement. So we'll go back, check out some of the top branded apps, see if any of them are different. Really, this is highlighted by Pandora Radio, which is very cool. You can go through and see all of these. Most of them are the same. There aren't that many apps that are released. The SDK that was given to developers was given a little bit late. And from what I understand, it wasn't as complete as some developers would have liked. So hopefully, down the road, this will open up and there'll be as many apps as are found on other platforms. Certainly, Palm may go the route of Apple when Apple initially only offered an SDK for web apps and then opened it up to native applications. Palm may go that same route with the Pre. Wanted to give you guys a demonstration of the Palm Pre's app catalog. Hope you enjoyed. For exclusive content, check me out on Twitter, twitter.com slash john 4 lakers And if you have any pre-questions, you can go ahead and ask me those over there. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.